Hello, my name is Fiona Glascott and I play Kathleen in The Secret Child. I should have told you everything a long time ago. That's all in the past. Well, I wasn't surprised because we get calls out of the blue all the time, but I was surprised that it came from a friend and not from the agency. I had a, um, an email from Sam Hoare, the writer, and uh, who adapted the script, and um, uh, yeah, that's the first I heard of it. Well, it, you know, what was really interesting about Kathleen is playing a, a real person, which I've, I've been very lucky to do a couple of times. But also to play Gordon's mother, mm -hmm. and being as he was there all the time, and as he wrote the book, it added sort of, I think, warmth or something or interest, or it just added a layer that you don't usually have. Because I was just very aware that I was playing this man's mother, who mm -hmm. he adored. And also the other side of that, which was very lucky, was I was able to ask Gordon any question I have. Because it was a true story, he then remembered everything that had happened. So he was able to explain. So then I was able to layer more things on. So from a work point of view, it was wonderful. But from a, a personal point of view, it was, it was sort of really special to, to be playing somebody's mother who was there on set. Yes, I did, but because he wrote with such love, because he loved his mother so much, and such honesty, and his memory was very clear. I, I remember speaking to Gordon about it, and he said that when he started to write, all these memories came back, and I suppose they do, because I don't really remember that much about my childhood, I don't think, and then if you, someone reminds yeah. you, you go, oh yeah. So, yes, so, so I sort of didn't really think about her as a character, more as, more as the person. Yuen was very clear in how he wanted the film to look mm -hmm. and what the story should be. And because he knew exactly what the story was and what he wanted it to be, he was very clear in what he wanted us to do. Mm -hmm. So it made it very straightforward. And it was a pretty jolly set, really. It was a few days. The sun shone yeah. amazingly, <laughs> as it never does when you're outside on filming. And, uh, it was pretty. It was. It was a. It was a really, really nice experience. Seventy-eight, take two. Right, okay. Oh, great! Aaron's just great fun, and you know, really up for a giggle, which really helps. And Austin, sweet child, and his mum was lovely, yeah. and it was just, yeah, it was a really, it was a really nice experience, and the crew were were great fun, so we all had a, a giggle. The scene when I'm waiting for Aaron's character to arrive, Bill, I was sitting on the bench mm -hmm. and we were discussing what I would be doing, which was pretty straightforward, and there was a conversation about what Austin would be doing, and Austin started playing around like a child does, and it was great because he was, he was, he was actually really annoying me, which was sort of perfect. But I don't think they ended up using that, but there were lots of takes where he was picking up like tree little leaves and tiddling me with them and trying to tickle me and get my attention and I just thought that was that was really fun and then he sat down beside me and he was kicking his feet around and I just it was really nice it was a very clear beautifully told story and I thought it was shot really lovely and I, I really liked what everybody did but I thought it was really wonderful that they managed to condense what um, is an enormous story that covers a lifetime uh, it, it, but just a little a little few moments from the book that's already there and they and it seemed to make a complete film and I thought that that worked really well and I think that that's very difficult to do with a short film uh, bridge I just I liked the way everybody was dressed. I liked that the sun shone. I liked that it was the first scene that we had all done, and myself and Austin had a nice time together. And I loved it when Bill arrived. You know, I'm a sucker for a romance, so I really love all that. <laughs> so I really enjoyed all of that, and I remember it being a really nice day. Yeah. And I think I think that, that it was.
the shot well and it was still moving. I'm, I'm doing the Fantastic Beasts, uh, the second film and, and the franchise, so that's very exciting, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> still filming in it? No, I've, fin I've finished filming yeah. now, but um, it'll be coming out at the end of November, oh, I think. Yes, it's very nice. I hope so. It is a genuinely interesting story, and I did not know about Regina Coley. I actually, you know what? I'm still not sure how to say it, so I apologise. But I, I had heard about the Magdalene Laundries, and I didn't know that there was a place that mm -hmm. took women in and they could keep their children and, and mm -hmm. go out and work, and some stayed there. It's a, it's a story that that well should be told, but it's fascinating and the amount of different characters that are in there, mm -hmm. and the journey that they go on together, and that Gordon then mm -hmm. goes on to. I would love to see it as it would make a lovely feature, but I think it would make a great TV show because there's there's so much that could happen, and then it could the story could be invested. I mean, the women's descriptions in the the mother's home are fascinating. There, the fights, the 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 love they had for each other, the the, the kids. You know, there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of material there. So I, I definitely I would hope that it would become something because it's a story that's also. It's, it's a genuinely true, true story. wonderful story, and and, that, and has it and has a great ending, really, as we.